Good afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief for Friday, January 30th. I'm Claire Moran. Here are today's top stories. The College of Arts and Sciences has a new dean. Karen Ruland joined Syracuse University in 1993 and was selected to become the dean of the college today. Since joining the university, Dean Ruland has increased funding for undergraduate research and worked to spread funds out more equally across all disciplines. And Romney 2016 is no more. Former 2012 Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney announced today that he will not run for president in the upcoming election. Romney told supporters in a conference call Friday morning that he wanted other leaders in the party to have the opportunity to become this election's nominee. The current front runners for the Republican Party are Florida Governor Jeb Bush and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. And the Taliban has claimed responsibility for the deaths of three Americans and one Afghan national at an airport in Kabul Thursday night. U.S. officials confirmed that three military contractors were shot at close range on the military side of the airport. Afghan security forces shot and killed the assailant who was working at the airport and waiting to carry out the attack. And the Seattle Seahawks are taking on the New England Patriots at Super Bowl 49 this Sunday. Coverage will start live from Arizona at 12 with kickoff at 6.30 on NBC. Kevin Ryans will have more on the match coming up and what to look for tonight at 6. And after a snowy day in Syracuse, frigid temperatures are on the way for the weekend. Check back in with Josh Bazan for a full weather and traffic report tonight on Citrus TV News Live at 6. And that's all the time we have for today. For more news, follow us on Twitter at Citrus TV News and like us on Facebook. Make sure you stay tuned for Citrus TV News Live at 6 with Nick Cardona and Brian Chung. I'm Claire Moran. We'll see you back real soon.